This is Herbert A. Brown Jr., Focus Winner. Today's message is, you can't change people, God can. Romans 12, 2, don't copy the behavior and customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then you'll know God's will for you, which is good and pleasing and perfect. 2 Peter 3, 9, the Lord isn't really slow about his promise as some people think. No, he is being patient for your sake. He does not want anyone to be destroyed, but wants everyone to repent. Philippians 2.13 For God is working in you, giving you the desire and power to do what pleases Him. Ephesians 2.10 For we are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus so that we could do the good things He planned for us long ago. Psalm 51 10, create in me a clean heart, O God. Renew a loyal spirit within me. Again, today's message is you can't change people. God can. Now, many of you have come to me saying that you're so frustrated. You want to change your children. Many of you women want to change your husband or your boyfriend. Many of you want to change your boss's attitude. Many of you want to change the attitude of the people working for you. But you can't change people. God can. God is the only one who can really change the heart and transform a person to do something new, something different. They're going along this path. All of a sudden, God changes them to this path. Now, I was at a mixer promoting my book, Rise from the Ashes, when I was talking with this young lady, I was talking about the book. And I was saying how it will strengthen you when you are leveled by life. When you're in the pit of despair, this book will help show you the scriptures in the Bible that will help lift you up. She recoiled. She looked at me as if, ooh, I don't believe in God. Why are you even talking to me about God? Get away from me. So I knew the Spirit of God was talking through me when I said, you know what, I want you to have this book. And I just want you to look at the concepts of being strengthened. Just read it from that standpoint. Don't let the Word God keep you from reading these messages. So she took the book. A month later, I'm talking to a group of people. She interrupts me. She says, that's the best book I ever read. Oh, I'm so glad you gave it to me. Now, it wasn't me that changed her heart. It was God. Because I had prayed on her that God would change her heart. God can change people. You can't. You can't change people. Now, I used to work with two co-workers. One was a young man, deeply religious, and he fell in love with a fellow co-worker. But the problem is, this fellow co-worker, she... Well, used to sleep around with a lot of men. A lot of men. So a lot of people were snickering behind their back saying, oh, this is never going to work out. This woman's a tramp. She will never be a good wife or a mother to him. Again, you can't change people. God can. God changed the heart of this woman. She is a devoted mother and wife now, has not even looked on her past, has changed her direction in life. You can't change people. God can. So don't be frustrated. Don't try to change people. Pray and leave it to God.